Have you ever wondered how Norway, a country with a small population, became one of the richest nations in the world? The story of Norway's prosperity is a fascinating tale of strategic planning, serendipity, and a bit of good old-fashioned luck. But before we delve into the details, let's set the stage. Norway, a small Scandinavian country, is nestled in the northern part of Europe, known for its stunning fjords, the northern lights, and a deep-rooted Viking heritage. However, this picturesque land of just over 5 million people holds a secret. It's one of the wealthiest nations on the planet. The question is, how did Norway, with its modest population and remote location, accumulate such wealth? The answer to that is not as straightforward as you might think. It's a complex tapestry woven with threads of economic decisions, geographic fortune, and a keen sense of national stewardship. Historically, Norway was not always the affluent nation we see today. Quite the contrary, in fact. For much of its history, it was one of the poorest countries in Western Europe. Its economy, heavily reliant on fishing and agriculture, struggled to keep pace with its more industrialized European neighbors. So how then did this small agrarian nation transform into an economic powerhouse? The answer lies in a series of events, decisions, and discoveries that would forever change the course of Norway's history. It's a story of a country that managed to turn its fortunes around, using its resources wisely, and thinking ahead for the sake of its future generations. In the coming scenes, we'll take a deep dive into Norway's economic transformation. We'll explore the discovery that catapulted Norway's economy, the strategic decisions that helped safeguard its newfound wealth, and the impact of this prosperity on Norwegian society. So are you ready to uncover the secrets of Norway's wealth, to journey through the annals of its history, and to discover how a nation so small became so incredibly rich? Buckle up as we journey through time, unveiling the secrets behind Norway's wealth. Rewind to the early 20th century, Norway was not always the wealthy nation we know today. Imagine a time when the people of Norway relied on the bounty of the sea and the fertility of their land for their livelihood. Yes, the early economy of Norway was predominantly based on fishing and farming. It was a time when the rhythm of life was dictated by the changing seasons and the ebb and flow of the tides. A time when a good catch or a bountiful harvest was cause for celebration and a lean season brought hardship and worry. The fishing industry in particular played a crucial role in Norway's early economy. The country's long coastline, dotted with deep fjords and countless islands, provided an ideal environment for fishing. From the icy waters of the North Sea, fishermen hauled in cod, herring, and mackerel, which were then salted, dried, or smoked, and exported to markets across Europe. Farming, on the other hand, was a challenge in the rugged and often inhospitable Norwegian landscape. Yet, the resilient Norwegian farmers carved out small plots of arable land from the mountainsides, growing crops like potatoes, barley, and rye. They also raised livestock, with sheep and goats grazing on the lush mountain pastures. These two industries, fishing and farming, formed the backbone of Norway's economy. They provided not just food for the nation, but also jobs for its people and exports for its trade. They instilled in Norwegians a deep respect for their natural resources and a strong work ethic, values that would serve them well in the years to come. Looking back, it's clear that these early industries laid the foundation for Norway's future prosperity. They fostered a sense of community and cooperation among the people, and they taught them the value of sustainable practices. They also made Norway a player in the global market, paving the way for the country's economic expansion in the decades to follow. Little did they know, Norway's fortune was about to take a turn. Fast forward to the 1960s, a new chapter in Norway's history was about to begin. It was during this time that Norway discovered oil in the North Sea, a discovery that would soon transform the country's economy and its international standing. This wasn't an easy journey, though. The North Sea, known for its harsh and unpredictable weather conditions, presented a formidable challenge to the early oil explorers. Yet their determination, bolstered by the whisper of potential wealth, led them to press on. The first exploration well was drilled in 1966, but it was a dry hole. It wasn't until the very next year, in 1967, that oil was finally struck 
at the Ecofisk oil field. This discovery was a game changer, a treasure found beneath the icy waters of the North Sea, yet it was just the beginning. The initial boom in the oil industry didn't happen overnight. The process of extracting and exporting oil was a complex one, involving significant investments in infrastructure and technology. More importantly, it required the development of a regulatory framework to manage this newfound wealth responsibly. The government, recognizing the potential of this resource, established the Norwegian Petroleum Directorate in 1972. This move ensured that the oil resources were managed in a way that benefited the entire nation, rather than just a select few. The oil industry quickly became the backbone of Norway's economy, contributing significantly to its GDP and providing a substantial boost to employment. The revenue from oil exports was used to fund public services, improve infrastructure, and invest in the future of the country. The oil era had begun. Far from the fishing and farming communities of the past, Norway was now a global player in the oil industry. But it was not just about the money, it was about a vision for a prosperous future. A vision that would guide Norway's decisions in the years to come. The oil era had begun, setting Norway on a path to wealth. As the oil money flowed in, Norway made a forward-thinking decision. The year was 1990, and Norway was sitting on an ever-growing pile of petrodollars. But instead of spending it all, Norway did something different, something unprecedented. They decided to save it not just for a rainy day, but for future generations. And thus, the Government Pension Fund Global was born. This is no ordinary fund. It's a sovereign wealth fund, a national piggy bank, if you will. But this piggy bank is unlike any other. It's a fund that's designed to benefit not only the current citizens of Norway, but also their descendants. So how does this fund work? Well, it's quite simple. The Norwegian government takes a significant portion of the revenue it makes from its oil and gas sector and invest it into this fund. The idea is to transform temporary oil wealth into a permanent source of capital. But where does this money go? It's not just sitting in a vault somewhere in Oslo. No, this fund is invested globally in a diverse range of assets, including stocks, bonds, and real estate. The goal is to ensure a high return on investment while minimizing risk. Now, the purpose of this fund is twofold. First, it's there to help finance public spending, particularly pensions. This is why it's often referred to as the oil for pensions scheme. Second, it's there to act as a buffer to protect the Norwegian economy from the volatile oil market. This strategy has paid off handsomely. Today, the Government Pension Fund Global is one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world, worth over a trillion dollars. It owns, on average, 1.4% of all listed companies worldwide. But more importantly, it has helped ensure that Norway's oil wealth benefits everyone. It's a model of fiscal responsibility and sustainability that many other resource-rich countries have tried to emulate. In essence, Norway chose to invest in its future. It chose to turn finite resources into infinite wealth. And it's a choice that has made Norway one of the wealthiest countries in the world. With this fund, Norway's oil wealth was set to benefit future generations. While the oil money was being saved, Norway was also investing in its future. A future that went beyond the black gold beneath the North Sea. Norway sought to build a prosperous society, and to do this they needed more than just oil. They needed infrastructure, education, and healthcare, the three pillars of a thriving nation. Let's start with infrastructure. Norway, with its rugged terrain and scattered population, faced unique challenges. But rather than being deterred, they saw an opportunity. They invested heavily in roads, bridges, and tunnels, connecting the remote corners of the country. They built state-of-the-art airports and seaports, opening up Norway to the world. This infrastructural development played a significant role in fostering economic growth and social cohesion. Next came education. Norway understood that their greatest resource wasn't beneath the ground, but above it, in the minds of their people. They created a robust educational system, providing free education from kindergarten through university. They invested in research and development, fostering innovation and creativity. The result, a highly educated, highly skilled workforce ready to take on the challenges of the future. And finally, healthcare. In a world where health often comes with a hefty price tag, Norway chose a different path. 
they built a comprehensive healthcare system providing high quality care for all, regardless of income. This not only improved the overall health of the population, but also helped reduce income inequality, contributing to social stability. But why did Norway invest in these areas? Because they understood that oil, while valuable, is a finite resource. They knew that true wealth isn't measured in barrels of oil, but in the well-being of its people. They saw the potential in every Norwegian and chose to invest in it. Norway's wealth was not just about oil, but about investing in its people. A lesson that goes beyond Norway, beyond oil. A lesson about the value of investing in the future. Because the future, after all, is where we'll spend the rest of our lives. So how has this wealth impacted Norwegian society? As we delve into this question, it's impossible not to notice the high standard of living enjoyed by the Norwegians. The wealth generated from the oil reserves and astute investments has been used to create an environment where the citizens thrive. In Norway, the poverty rate is one of the lowest worldwide. This is not by accident, but by design. The wealth has been strategically channeled towards ensuring that everyone has a fair shot at a good life. This approach has contributed immensely to the fact that homelessness is nearly non-existent and everyone has access to basic needs. Education in Norway is another area that has benefited greatly from the nation's wealth. The country boasts one of the highest education levels globally. Education from primary to tertiary level is free for all citizens. This has resulted in a highly educated populace, which in turn has led to innovations and in economic growth. The wealth has also been used to build an excellent healthcare system. Norwegian citizens enjoy universal healthcare, which means everyone has access to quality medical services, regardless of their financial situation. This has contributed to Norway having one of the highest life expectancies in the world. The wealth has not only been used to provide services, but also to promote social equality. In Norway, the income gap between the rich and the poor is significantly lower than in many other developed countries. This is because the government uses the wealth to ensure a high minimum wage and strong social security systems. In essence, the wealth of Norway has been used not just to build infrastructure and provide services, but to create a society where prosperity is shared. The focus has been on ensuring that all citizens have access to the opportunities and resources they need to thrive. Norway's wealth has created a society where prosperity is shared. It's a testament to what can be achieved when wealth is used strategically and responsibly. As we look to the future, what does it hold for Norway's wealth? Well, given the country's robust financial footing and prudent financial management, the outlook appears promising. Yet the future isn't without challenges. Norway, like the rest of the world, is facing the urgent need to transition from fossil fuels to green energy. The country's wealth is deeply tied to its oil reserves, and this shift will undoubtedly impact the economy. But don't count Norway out just yet. The nation is already a leader in renewable energy, particularly hydroelectric and wind power. In fact, they are exporting more green energy than oil. They're proving that it's possible to strike a balance between economic prosperity and environmental responsibility. This transition towards green energy not only safeguards the environment, but also presents a new avenue for wealth generation. Then there's the continued management of the Sovereign Wealth Fund. To ensure its longevity, Norway must continue to make smart, diversified investments. The country's commitment to ethical investing, such as avoiding companies linked to fossil fuels or those with a poor record on human rights, sets a global standard. It's a testament to Norway's belief that wealth shouldn't come at the expense of our shared values or the planet. Uncertainty is a part of any future, but the Norwegians have shown time and again their knack for turning challenges into opportunities. Their strategic approach to wealth management, coupled with a commitment to sustainability and ethical investment, is a blueprint for other nations. The future of Norway's wealth is not just about maintaining the status quo, it's about striving for a sustainable, inclusive and prosperous future. It's about ensuring that wealth serves as a tool for positive change, both at home and beyond its borders. As we watch Norway navigate the waters of the future, we can't help but be inspired by their journey. It's a journey that reminds us that wealth is not just about accumulation, 
but also about preservation and purpose. Only time will tell, but Norway's wealth journey offers lessons for us all. Let's recap the key points in our journey through Norway's wealth history. We started with a mystery, which led us to the early years of Norway's economic development. The turning point was the discovery of oil, a resource that transformed the nation's fortunes overnight. This windfall didn't just end up in the pockets of a few, it was strategically managed through the establishment of the Sovereign Wealth Fund. Remarkably, this fund was not squandered, but invested wisely in infrastructure, creating a ripple effect of prosperity that touched every corner of the society. The impact of this wealth on society has been profound, shaping Norway into one of the world's wealthiest and happiest nations. Looking ahead, the future of Norway's wealth seems secure, thanks to prudent planning and investment strategies. Norway's wealth story is a testament to forward-thinking decisions and strategic investments,